Paul Serrano. I'm an applications engineer here at Index Rob, and what I will be speaking today about is the TNL 20-11. So one of the nice features about the TNL 20-11 is you're able to have four tools in the cut. We have an independent axis here. This is our V1 axis, so it's really good. Um, for example, I was able to make a really long part, about seven inches long, and bring our H axis here to support it. I'll drag that down right now. I was actually able to bring the H axis down here, come over with turret one, the V axis, and actually do some pretty complex milling here. Doing this. And that worked out really well. Uh, that's one of the main differences between a typical twist machine. We also have the same thing for the bottom turret. It's got a Z2 axis. You're actually able to use that axis on the main side or the back side. So you have a rear working plate here. These are your rear working stations uh, for, for, the, for the sub side. But what you could do also is you could turn a holder that's typically used for the main side, flip it over, and actually use it for the sub side also. Each one of these turrets, turret one, turret two, and turret three also have an H axis. It's also a nice feature. Uh, we do have two ways for you to extract your part. The first way is gonna be through the opposed spindle, brush it over the flushing tube here. It's gonna come out to this side, the right side of the machine. And we also have the gripper system. I'll jog that over now and show it. So, so this is gonna be the gripper that comes over to the sub side and grabs the part and it'll extract it through the left side. Yeah. Another nice feature of the tribe is gonna be removing the need to route your high pressure lines. Um, the high pressure and all oil is fed through the turrets themselves. So you're able to feed the oil directly onto the holder. You also have a couple lines here. Okay. And I'll go over some of the features of Winflex. So through Winflex, uh, we have a couple of nice functions. So if you want to, for example, make a turning tool path, you could do that on here and it'll give you a 2D wireframe of that. But what you could also do is if you have a family of parts and a certain feature is the same for each part, you could save that 2D wireframe. Go ahead and grab it, right? Pull it up. Now we have that contour already saved on there and it's pretty much ready to go, right? We also have a 2D or 3D simulation. So I wanna save that. So this is a really accurate way for a setup guy when he makes a edit on the program. You could go ahead and double check it to make sure what you did is correct, right? So it's got a nice 3D simulation of the, the part you are currently running. Uh, okay, and, and I think, uh, oh, also another nice feature is gonna be the fact that you don't have to stop the machine, you know, grab a wrench, bring the main spindle all the way back. What you could actually do on this machine is we have a programmable guide bushing option or you can just go here, okay. side bush, and you could adjust it outside of the machine. So that's a really nice feature. Makes it a lot quicker for the setup guy or the programmer, wherever it may be. So those are just some of the features of the TNL 20-11. If you have any more questions, I'm gonna turn it over to our regional field manager for more information. Thank you. Thank you, Gonzalo. I'm Craig Foster, Regional Sales Manager with Index. I'm going to be walking you through a more detailed overview of the TNL20.
The TNL20 is a more dynamic Swiss platform designed to shorten your cycle times, and here are some highlights. Large machining envelope for greater part flexibility, easy changeover between sliding and fixed headstock operation, simultaneous machining with two, three, or four tools depending on the machine configuration, highest precision due to thermally stable symmetrical machine structure, turret in indexing by NC rotary axes, and innovative part handling option. The TNL20 has up to 11 axes for faster part processing. Unique thermally stable and vertically integrated casting design and reduced setup times by placing all the tooling and spindles within easy reach of the operator. Changeover between a sliding headstock and a fixed headstock machine takes shorter than 15 minutes. The benefits of this are a shorter bar remnant and eliminates the need for ground stock. Both spindles in the TNL20 are fluid cooled integral spindles, increasing the machine's level of utilization by not having to reduce cutting data on a sub spindle. Main and counter spindles are identical in construction, same kilowatt size and torque rating. The turret basic structure, the TNL20's unique twin X, Y, Z, and H axis turret design can hold up to 24 tools per turret. The chip to chip indexing time is 0.3 seconds. Tool drives at each station decrease the setup time. Large dimension tool holders, 45 millimeter in diameter, ensure high rigidity, stability, and dampening to increase tool life. Optimum coolant supply directly to the cutting edge further decreases your setup times by eliminating the need to plumb and route lines for each setup. We have 80 bar at each tooling station and up to 120 bar at four tooling stations. High cutting capacity for both turning and for milling due to greater rigidity in the use of turrets and reduced part processing time by the use of pinch milling, pinch drilling, and pinch turning. The TNL20's unique twin turret design allows large tooling capacity compared to a linear tool, tool carrier. The H axis unwraps into a linear Y axis with a remarkable 1200 millimeters of Y travel. With two turrets and up to 400 millimeters of front and back working, the TNL20 presents a total of over three full meters of tooling resident in the machine. Turret indexing is in an H axis and mechanical interlock is not required. Reducing setup time by the use of hand wheel to set your tooling position and save to the control. This is superior to any linear or gang style tool carrier. The front working attachment basic structure, the autonomous compound slide with X and Z axes, as well as Y axes function by X and H axes interpolation. Three live tool mountings, three stationary tool mountings, up to two high frequency spindles can be utilized on this drum and coolant pressures of up to 80 bar at all six stations or up to 120 bar at two stations. The drum rotates in a circumference outside of the upper turret, eliminating the chance of collision with the upper turret. The back working attachment basic structure is four tool mountings for ID and OD machi machining. We have coolant pressures of up to 80 bar on all and up to 120 bar on two stations. The workpiece discharge is utilized with a flushing unit through the bottom turret. Workpieces are flushed out through from the counter spindle through the indexing shaft of the lower turret by means of an optional flushing unit. This allows for easy and gentle workpiece discharge of odd profiles that, that uh, can't be marred up. Flushing through the counter spindle allows the use of removal of long cylindrical and rolling work pieces through the counter spindle. This is for shafts and longer uh, work pieces. Work piece removal unit. The work piece removal unit removes the finished work pieces with a work piece gripper and then places them on a part removal conveyor. 
removal via servo swivel and a servo linear axis in the Z direction, once again allowing for damage free workpiece removal. We also have the unique robot cell or IX center, intelligent automation, even more flexibility and efficiency. Length and or finished parts can be supplied and discharged quickly, safely, and flexibly. Has excellent ergonomics. The IX center is an integrated part of the machine, so no separate installation and setup, no additional safety equipment. The space above the vertical storage can easily be used for subsequent operations, such as cleaning, measuring, deburring. And once again, the IX center can be slid completely out of the way when not in use. Lastly, the reduced cycle times, as we had mentioned, of up to four tools in the cut. We have four tools at the same time, simultaneously, simultaneously, yet fully independent, three tools on the front side, one tool on the back side. That's a quick review of the TNL20 at this point. We'll open it up to any questions you might have.